Joining me in the technical corner today is Mark from Shunk. And we've got three chucks and we're gonna talk briefly about each one. Can we start here, Mark? Right, uh, this is the Rotor THW Plus. It's uh, a chuck that's aimed at the CNC market. It's a hydraulic chuck and it's a quick change jaw system that's uh, on it. Actuated by this chuck key, we push in there, quarter turn, and you simply slide the jaw out like that. If that was a different jaw, you'd just slide it back in the other way around. Goes in there, lock it off. Wow, the way you that. But obviously these things are going thousands of RPM. How, how do you know this isn't going to come out? Right, how do you this, know you've tightened it up? This is the chuck key that goes in. When that's in the activation position, like that, you can move the jaw in and out. When it's there, that physically will not come out of there until your jaw's engaged in the position that you're looking to do it. So push that in like that, lock it off, and away you go. Perfect. So there's your safety feature. Those are steel jaws, hard jaws. Can you put different types of jaws, soft jaws and things? Put any type of jaws on here. It's got, it has got a base jaw, which is uh, tenon and uh, slot and tenon on the top. Mm -hmm. They're claw jaws. You can have soft jaws, hard jaws, any special jaws you want to put on there. Absolutely. It's great for low volume work, isn't it? Good yeah. grief. We, you, you think if they're repeating, you keep the jaws with the drawings. You talk, well, that's what, that might be 60 seconds to do yeah. them all. Yeah. And ideally, you'd have the base jaw with the top jaw on as a set, and you can yeah. have like 10 different sets, and you can be changed in like less than a minute. Fantastic. And you, you say CNC, so any CNC, like a multitasking machine as well? Yep. Yeah. And if anyone that the, the chuck will fit on, it'll, it'll go on. It's not limited to any type of machine, really. Yeah, and obviously the centre, we can run it with a bar feed. We can blank it off and use it as a chucker. Yeah, there's multiple uh, centre sleeves that you can put in there, like with part ejectors, coolant nozzles, and quite a few different uh, options. And if we move on to the Rotor S+. Plus. This, similar to that in how it works, the fact that it's a quick change uh, chuck, it's for a manual machine a manual operator with a, with a chuck key. Mm -hmm. But instead of that uh, chuck key going there like that, when you wind that out to a point, you've got a button, oh, a button to press there and that yeah. jaw comes out. And again, if you want to put that in the other way around, you just simply slide that in there. Wow, let me have a go. Oh, crikey. Absolutely simple. Even I can do it. Must be, <laughs> must be easy. I can, so I can see where this is going now. This is. As I say, if you if I was running a premium lathe, doing well, maybe even small batch, batches, I'd look at that. But if I was doing other work, this is this is ample. Yeah, I mean, that it's would perfect. leave itself sort of primarily to be a replacement for a scroll chuck. Mm. It's much higher clamping forces, and it's giving you the manual aspect of it, but with a quick change jaw. I was going to ask about the clamping forces. Got through this quick release quick release system. Does that reduce the clamping force at all? No, no, that increases it because that's on a wedge system inside mm -hmm. where the scroll chuck, pretty old technology. And obviously you get swarf in there and it reduces your clamping and you don't really know it's being reduced at the time. Whereas that is a much, much higher clamping force. And how about the repeatability on that slide? When your jaws have been machined out, so you, if you've mm -hmm. got a set of soft jaws there, you machine them out, you've got number one, two and three. If you put them back in the same position, you don't need to remachine your jaws ever. Really? They will go back in the same position every time. And again, presumably we've got the modular centre sleeve as well. Yes, exactly the same as what was on the THW, you can use on that as well. Mm -hmm. And this this lightweight chuck at the end, obviously I want to know a little bit about the chuck, but I, I, I like I like the jaws. Well, I'll talk about the chuck first. Mm -hmm. That's the Rotor NCE. That is a lightweight, again, hydraulic CNC chuck like the THW, but it's really lightweight. So it's had, you know, the corners chopped mm -hmm. out there. All the design of it is designed to put the load back into the spindle of the machine. So you're not taking any extra load on the chuck. But what it does allow you to do is cut your cost of machining because your chuck can get to uh, full working speed quicker and slow down between. Oh, okay. So if you've got short, a short run of a component, say a minute, you might better get it down to 40 seconds, you know. So it's lightweight, it's efficient. Yeah. And how, how about these, uh, I'm, gonna spoil, I'm gonna spoil your thunder a little bit, but how about, how about those? Well, that's the Pronto jaw system. Now, these come as standard quick change jaw chucks. That is a retro system, so, mm -hmm. You could have any chuck, as long as it's got the interface for like the one and a half mil by 90 mil serrations at the back, the jaws will fit it. Now, all you do then is you change the top bit there. So that's actually a hard jaw, mm -hmm. but it works on a cam there. So you drop it on there, quarter turn on there, your cam that locks in position. But what you do with that, you take them off for your first stop and then you replace that with soft jaws. Yeah, and you do that, and again, you don't need to remachine them once they've been done. You just go one, back two, on there, ten, twenty, yeah. fantastic. Well, that's a retro job for an existing chuck. So it's fair to say, across this range, if one of these would apply for every application, any type of machine. Yeah, if you've got a machine that spins round lathe, obviously, um, shunk do a chuck for it. 
there we are. Thank you very much and thank you for watching at home.